Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and we're going to have a look at what iBooks author can do again. Done all the bits and pieces, we've done our front page, we've uh, put in some uh, intro media which can be a piece of artwork or a video. We've got table of contents set up there, we've got preface and a number of chapters all with images to go with it as well. Obviously I've done something wrong with that, with that picture, I'll have to take that picture out. Let's have a look at something else for today. Let's see what we can do with putting in some extra bits and pieces. You have a choice there of some triangles, rectangles, squares, arrows and so on. Let's put something in there now. So let's add a speech bubble in there to our document and see what we can do with it. Hello. So there we go. Hello. Okay. So we'll have Commander Z saying hello. So we've got Commander Z in there now as well. And doesn't it look fine? Bit of artwork created by my son. Jack Allen, you can see more of his work on DeviantArt, it goes by the name of Wishpiddle on there. Okay, so let's go back to this, see what else we can do. We can uh, put tables in there, and that's pretty easy, just uh, throw it in there and uh, fill out your table, put over whatever you want in there. We have extra rows in there, we we'll have extra couple of columns, you can change the fill. So that's how easy it is to put in a table. Let's come out of that for the moment and delete it, because I'm not going to put it in there for the moment. And the same goes for a chart as well, so you can put all sorts of charts in there. And uh, you've got a, a data editor over here. So if you want to make some sort of fancy chart, just fill the data in over here, which obviously you can bring in from numbers. It may even be possible to uh, grab a chart from numbers and drag it and drop it into iBooks Author. I wouldn't be surprised at all if it was able to do that. And something else that you can do that is pretty useful is to put links to external websites from your iBook. How about that? So iPad photo editing software, so for instance this bit here, what I could do with that if I want to is I can make that into a hyperlink. So I could link to a web page. So uh, I could choose web page there off uh, the amazing iPad website. My readers of the book could uh, easily click on it and go to my website, so that would be quite handy. As you see, she did some pretty nice looking charts there, and you can uh, add rows there. So that's how easy it is to put charts in there. It looks like this is a 3D chart, so you can even turn it around and make it even more sexy looking. How about that then? That's nice, isn't it? Eh? Makes the chart even more nice and easy to read and look at as well. What about widgets? Now, hmm. That would be good, putting a widget. Well, a gallery. You're bound to going to want to put in a gallery at some point in time. And uh, you can have it so that it uh, fills the page up there, for instance. Let's have it going over there. And we'll get some pictures and put some pictures in there. And what you can do with this here is you can just uh, grab a number of pictures. Let's go into my uh, images folder. So the pictures I've got there. I'll just choose some of these pictures here because they're um, landscape shaped. I've chosen a few there. Drag them all in at the same time, four of them, and in there, in they go. Okay, so we've got the layout, and on there you can choose whether you want to have a title or not. So let's take away the title. Well, maybe it's good to have a title. You can have your caption at the bottom, and background you can uh, say if you want a bigger background around the images. You can change the size of the outside background so that all works better. Let's grab that and make that smaller. There you go, that's going to work better, isn't it? Now, let's put that there and extend it outwards over there. Okay, so that's pretty good, huh? Okay, so uh, we've got our pictures in there. We can have a different uh, caption for each of these here using iPhoto on this one here. We have a different caption again. Okay, so that's Solios view there. And on the last picture here, so pages on the iPad. So there you can see we can have a different caption for each of the photos. And that will work quite nicely on the iPad. That's our photo gallery. We can uh, put uh, keynotes in there and we'll have uh, a new page especially for that. Let's uh, add a page. A page, we'll go for a blank page. That bento for iPad. So it takes a while to load the keynote file in there. And it is still loading. It takes a while, doesn't it? I didn't think it would take that long, to be quite honest. Again, you can have a caption at the bottom there. There we go, it's in there now. I suppose once we get it into the iPad application, we'll be able to uh, see some buttons there where we can slide to slide. We can have it so that it goes in uh, full screen too if we want to. Let's add another page now. 
just another blank one again uh, we could add a review well these reviews here are to do with do with questions for textbooks so you can choose your answers there so I can click on there to say which is the correct answer there and then when uh, people read this book here they'll be able to uh, go to this review here and they'll be able to look at that question and choose A, B, C or D here's something else that you need to uh, get and do some work with at some point in time during this here so you put in your author name and uh, stuff like uh, the title for the book keywords and maybe some comments down there you can choose whether you want it to hyphenate and use ligatures you can even have a password okay so there you go that's how to do a few more things with ibooks author and as you can see it's a good bit of fun playing with this and uh, getting it to do various things we've uh, got more widgets to look at in a future video and I have actually made a dashboard widget I downloaded Xcode and Dashcode author thing and I was able to uh, create something and put it into the iBook let's have a look in another video and see what we can come up with next if you want to be the first to know about new videos that are coming out showing you how to do things with Mac applications subscribe now bye bye now